What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyd, and I'm back. I am back with a vengeance. No, I'm back with some Age of Mythology, the Titans action, spawning on the top of the map in the red color, playing as Odin under the name Nullus. He's here to show you some Odin, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I already said that, but he's here to show you some Odin. His opponent today in the blue color, playing the not quite 100% win rate Gaia because she's actually been played in this tournament, therefore is actually suffering some losses, but also getting some wins, funnily enough. It is Yoshi, and he is playing in the blue color. I'm excited. I, I can't tell you how excited I am for this one. Odin versus Gaia, you don't get to see this matchup ever. And it's like, I mean, Gaia players are going to say one thing. Our own players are going to say another thing. Everyone's going to say their own God's week. Some people are man enough uh, to actually say what they believe about it. But I personally think this matchup, it's not the worst for either side of the coin. I think it's actually a really, really fun matchup to play from both sides. Maybe it's easier for one side. Maybe it's easier for the other side. But in general, it's possible to find wins here from both sides of the coin. And I'm excited to see if Yoshi can make this work. Yoshi, Yoshi is one of, if not the most creative Asian mythology player currently playing. And what I mean by that is he's like, he's crazy enough to go into a semi-final and pull out a completely new uh, Egyptian cheese on, on Mirage, for example. He is capable of doing that in any series. If you don't know the game I'm talking about, I encourage you to go back and watch Champions League Season 3 semi-finals. I believe, uh, I can't 100% remember who he was playing against, but I believe he was playing Ra on Mirage. So just go and find that game. That was an exciting time to be alive. Uh, so we'll see what he's going to come up with today. But he is up against No Slouch. And not only is he up against No Slouch, he's up against um, Nullis's Odin of No Slouch. And what I mean by that is uh, a lot of people know Nullis for his Hades play, but they're not actually aware that Nullis is actually quite a strong random god player himself. He's got a lot of really, really good uh, pocket picks. Now, Odin, I wouldn't actually consider Odin to be a pocket pick. We can go into what that means a little bit later, but basically his Odin is as good as many other of his, many of its other like up there gods. So he's not like just messing around with this or or whatever so i mean what i mean by a pocket pick i'll go into it whatever what i mean by pocket pick is like a god where someone only really wants to play this in a matchup they're not too happy playing their main god in now obviously uh odin sorry not odin but nullis's hades is quite good against every god so he doesn't need to really have a pocket pick but he can play odin at an incredibly high clip and i'm excited to see what he's going to be able to come up with in this game on this first map though let's talk about it because this does mean quite a few things as we do see a temple coming up in the middle of the map no hunt on this map thus far being scouted probably indicating that there's no hunt on this map there is a wolf over here a couple of wolves over here a pair of wolves over here just hanging out but yoshi all of the hunt is in the main base which is as good as it gets for the Gaia in this matchup. Uh, let me turn this on for you guys. Wh why is it as good as it gets? Because you don't have to defend anything. You can just sit in your base. You can just enjoy getting these economic upgrades and, and, and sit on that. Let's see exactly. Is, has Yoshi got it? He's got himself hand axe. He's got himself pickaxe. He's getting himself the food to advance. He's gone for an extra villager. He's been incredibly greedy here. This is generally, I would say, to stay away from this. If you're kind of like watching these games, trying to learn age mythology, Gaia, playing Gaia, I would generally say you want to stay away from these sorts of openings where you're advancing 515 into the game. But, but, potentially on a map like this with this little bit limited amount of hunt, you might be able to get away with it. Um, but the problem here is that Nullis has already advanced through Freya and he's about to put some serious pressure onto Yoshi. He's going to have Hersa pounding the front gates here and he's going to be putting some real pressure on this tower is vitally important to keep alive here as we do see the walls coming up as the hersa starts to move forward and this is perfect from yoshi this is going to keep him uh very much safe in this game he's going to see the uh the freya come in the walls get up around the tower yoshi he's still not advanced he is still not advanced he is going for another citizen in this game this is absolutely insane i don't know if i can agree with this is not going to be able to defend his citizen, though he can just bring them back, jump onto the cows here, and just sit underneath the town center. That could be enough to just keep him nice and safe. He's also got another Gaia Forest ready to use here as soon as the forest fire comes down. So he can just put that anywhere.
everywhere straight away. In fact, he can put it around his town center. He can put it around this tower on the front if he so chooses. Uh, he, ha he does have it, right? Yes, he in... D does have it, and he will be putting it around the front of his base there as Leto has come through. The villagers can literally turn around and start harassing this Valkyrie. This is so crazy from Yoshi. His villagers over here are about to get pushed off, but... I mean, in terms of walk uh, walk time that he's had to actually put in, his villages are still working. So he's barely under any serious amounts of pressure. Plus, this Hursa here is about to fall. So that's even more resources that go into the favor of Yoshi in this game. As the as another kind of difficulty here for Nullis about to start. The Raven floating over on this position. These citizens can kind of get low HP and then move back home. Walls coming up around this uh, tower as well to keep that one safe as the citizen garrisons into that and it can easily take that one back home. And look at the wood for Yoshi. He's going to be able to immediately afford himself watchtowers here and keep himself alive. But will he be able to get some units out and actually survive here or not is the big question. He does have... Nullis does have some throwing axemen, so he can put some good pressure onto these um, villagers over here. Plus, because Yoshi hasn't utilized his Gaia Forest like on cooldown... He's not going to have the best of wood locations for him to grab. Do we see watchtowers? Yes, we do. We don't have any buildings up just yet. There's a counter barracks coming through. This defense is going to be tough for Yoshi. But he gets these um, these spider eggs down and he's going to be attempting his best defense here. Villagers coming over here going to be attempting to repair this one back up as the citizen getting pushed off of this location. He wants to keep it up so he can get as many automatons out of here as he possibly can. Watchtowers now up. All the units surrounding this temple and it's just not going down, ladies and gentlemen. The towers are up. They're just going to be doing damage here and Nullis needs to retreat away. Yoshi has found a way to defend here. He's advanced. He is safe here. He is housed at the moment. He needs to put a house down. But look at these citizens over here. Mostly fully HP. Uh, he can her heroize or get out a unit or something. He does decide to heroize the Oracle here. Half HP. Not the best of ideas, but he gets it out nonetheless. Town Center currently at 99%. Mana is up. Valkyrie is down. Units back here for Nullis. He's got to decide the next portion of his strategy of his game plan right now because Yoshi, he hasn't lost his citizen. He's got all of these upgrades in already. He's already got himself shaft mine to boot here. He's getting himself plow. He's spamming out these uh, these automatons. He's on one counter barracks at the moment and Nullis, he can't do any damage to Yoshi at this point. As the automatons pushing across the map, going to be harassing this house. He doesn't need to stay here. The 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 Hursa aren't going to be all that useful on this position. As the automatons going to be pulling back into this position here and just being absolutely safe. Nullis smartly here, most likely smartly here, taking the forward town center. This he's got all the population advantage, so there's not really any way for Yoshi to stop this, so to speak. Is the Hursa get pulled over here and Yoshi can't get any damage done? The town center is going to be getting up, but I mean, does this even really matter to Yoshi? Because Yoshi, he's just going straight into irrigation. He's going, going to have a crazy amount of economy coming here, and really, the the big worry for Yoshi in this game is simply going to be gold mines. He's going to be gold mines here, and then it's going to be Ragnarok. So he's got to be aware of this and, and, and make sure that he's going to be putting pressure on with all this economy and figuring out something to do. Maybe getting a fast heroic age here isn't going to be a bad idea into like destroyers or maybe into like the Stymphalian birds and dryads and the stuff like that that comes in with those sorts of strategies. But we'll see what's going to happen because he's already getting himself flood control. This is Gaia played to the maximum amount of abuse you possibly can, utilizing as much of the Gaia bonuses as Yoshi possibly can in this game. Uh, he's going to be able to chop this wood down right next to his hometown center as well, as villagers can pop out onto the wood and then jump onto farms as well. As we see, Nullis here, he's actually stopped all production. And that's really smart because he actually does need to get Heroic Age before he runs out of food. You do not want to be stuck in the Classical Age as Norse in this matchup at all. in Against Atlantean at all. If you have to build farms against Atlantean as Norse, 
you basically you screwed up in some in one way or another uh is the um the general consensus is the armory coming up in the main base there for nullis the unit's going to start pushing out for yoshi as yoshi's food is about to start skyrocketing we've only got three farms down as the armory is down as well units still poking their head in this oracle here almost getting taken out there does live with one hp but pulling back into the main base more farms coming down here for yoshi and i you still have to ask the question what are you doing with this heroic age just getting the heroic age that's not enough you still have to like get something happening here uh, because your opponent here, Nullis, while maybe, maybe not, Yoshi's economy is in front here, I'm not 100% sure, but just, Nullis is already heroic age, so Nullis is way in front here on tech. Uh, I mean, I, I have to I have to take a look. I need to know at this point who's in front. And I'd be surprised if it's Nullis, but it's really close actually. Nullis is actually in front. So Yoshi's got the catching up to do. Being behind economically in this matchup, generally not a wise thing, but... It's still close. Channels coming through. All the upgrades are in. So Yoshi's economy is going to be getting bigger and bigger as this game is kind of going along compared to what Nullis has got because Nullis is now throwing his own farms down. An interesting farming um, technique here from, from Nullis. I'm not sure what the plan is, but these farms here moving around. The cows wanting to finish those off before he potentially puts farms in on this position. Um, obviously, it's his style. I'm not going to question it too much, but... Uh, <laughs> maybe I will a little bit putting your farms around the town center perfectly is probably worth a lot more food in the long run than these farms in the in the uh in the short term here are actually going to be worth uh, I don't know probably better to I mean he's got an ox cart over here you could bring over here as well if you if you really wanted to be efficient there but sometimes things don't go as well as you possibly can as we do see the hill fort now coming up frost giant popping out here Thayer is the got a choice here for Yoshi and Here's the game plan that I can see for Nullis. It's going to be a really, really tough one for Yoshi to defend. Wait for this gold mine to expire and then hit this gold mine with frost. It's going to be really strong. But Nullis drops the frost early here. Super, super early. Hillfort coming up on the back over here as the raiding cavalry are going to start moving forward. We'll even see a hero turma getting converted. He just got a little bit of damage done onto that frost giant. Plus, the Stymphalion bird is in as well. So we can get damage done with that as this house is going to go down there. We see the uh, spider eggs getting dropped as well to prevent any sort of attack onto this position. But the raven is floating over this gold mine at this point here as the raiding cavalry are going to leave that position to start hitting that location over there. There is opportunity for... Yoshi to just get some Dryads up here to defend. That should be more than enough there. Uh, as the villages of Nullis, they're currently spread out a little bit onto multiple different locations. We do see the market is up. And uh, strictly speaking, if Nullis can just get a solid Mythic Age here, it's going to be really, really tough to defend the Ragnarok with the gold mines positioned as they are. But there's lots of sneaky gold mines on the map. So it's not as easy to just win the game. You still have to find all the gold mines. So you do have this like little map hacking Raven over here as well. As the Frost, while he does get up the hill for it, he does control this position, really doesn't get a whole lot of value here for Nullis in terms of like max value Frost where you pick off an entire army. This is good for Yoshi. Yoshi's going to be really happy about this one as the army pulls back in. Hillfort getting tons of damage. Towns are getting tons of damage. Frost Giant falling there. Villagers pulling off of this wood line. Needs to pull back up onto this position over here. If we take a look at the economic upgrades for Nullis. He still only has Plow. He does have the system of Bar so that's going to be helping him out a little bit with the Gatherer production but still only sitting on Plow means... Yoshi's food income, that's the scary thing here. It's going to be skyrocketing. Implode can come any any minute now. Do we see a market up anywhere in this game as the Stymphalion bird flying across the map? We see some citizens coming down over onto this town center to try and grab that one as the raid's coming in onto this position. This is what Yoshi does best. When Yoshi gets out, and starts like being able to utilize his kind of deathmatch APM. If you guys don't know, Yoshi is arguably the best deathmatch player currently playing Age of Mythology, if not just top three deathmatch players currently playing. Uh, but he's got so much APM and he's so good at this distraction action here as the dwarves coming through. Mermilla are going to be running away and trying to distract here as Nullis does get the win there. He gets a lot of kills, but... Still trying to push forward. Look at this from look at this from Yoshi. I have never seen this. He's repairing 
the automatons on the front here, ladies and gentlemen. And he's going to be getting it up there. That's absolutely insane. I don't know how he does. I think it's passive stance. I think he passive stances the automaton and then builds it back up. Really smart there. You can you can get those back up if you can keep the automaton alive. Really, really nice play in these fights. Makes this uh, a really, really tough army to break through. But right now, Yoshi's population is waning just a little bit over here on this position. We do see a Huskal coming in to get a little bit of pressure done. Will he pick off these units? There's one really low HP citizen over here, plus a 100 HP citizen on that position there as well. That could potentially go downtown. And it looks like it might finish off here with only the one Huskal. It's going to be close, though. We'll see if Yoshi can actually finish it up. We see a Dryad moving down here. No, we do see another citizen coming as well. So he should be okay where that's concerned as the automatons pulling back and they're still going to be able to get these automatons back up here they've got a little bit of life left in them so long as you can get in right click on them but not paying attention there on that position unfortunately town center is up but two citizens do end up falling there for that one so big win for nullis as nullis here he's about to get raided yet again the uh, dryads pushing through ox cart getting targeted down this is not good for nullis here as well as over on this position there was a um a, a, i believe a stymphalian bird harassing is picking off a, uh, an ox cart there but now the dwarfs on this position are going to be under attack, and Nullis he's kind of he has to pull back and he has to keep himself getting resources. He's made no effort into defending his gold. He had some forward gold mines he could potentially grab, which would have been easy to defend. But good micro here from Nullis. He's got the Huskal on the Arcus. He's got the throw and axeman targeting down the uh, the infantry units, and then those Contaras are going to fall fairly easily as well here. As Nullis now starting to push in, I mean, retreat back, I should say, as Yoshi is the one pushing in. And Nullis is on the complete back foot here. As Yoshi, he's still enjoying utilizing this repair feature of the automaton. There's this world where potentially you can, you can repair the automaton repairing the other automaton. And it's just like nearly impossible to make that work. As the army here going to be retreating for Yoshi. He's not able to quite break through here just yet, but tons of resources in the bank. He can still spam out those dryads as the game goes along with all that gold income. How is economic upgrades looking? Does he have quarry now? I, I wasn't quite paying attention. He's got quarry. Only thing missing is carpenters here, uh, and he's going to be getting more farms down as the game goes on. Unfortunately, Yoshi is not able to forward citizens out of that town center, and he's not building citizens out of the hometown center either. He's only at 20 citizens, so uh, down by about five there, it seems. A little bit unsure of exactly why that is. As Yoshi is kind of, he's going to have to retreat back here. He can make some destroyers, but in general, against Norse destroyers are probably not your best bet in terms of an army, to, uh, a unit to use. Why? Because the throw and axemen, they get a 125% bonus damage versus those destroyers. Plus, they do hack damage. So as if it's not enough then that the destroyer's got low hack armor, but also the, the throw and axeman is getting bonus damage versus them with a big amount. So those destroyers fall really, really quickly. You have to kind of figure out a different army composition to go against this. But luckily you've got the Dryads, luckily you've got the Arcus, luckily you've got the Contarius. All these units are really, really good. And then once your opponent sort of moves away from, well, you, your opponent's never really moving away from infantry units, but... Maybe you can get some destroyers in there a little bit later. Maybe you can use your myth units to break down the buildings. But Yoshi here, he's got to retreat back. He's in a bit of a tight spot here now, though, as he still is struggling to get towns. And he's still putting raids in here. He's still harassing the uh, the ox carts here completely in this game. Like life is really, really tough here for Nullis. He is struggling for the gold. He's got ox carts out on this position. He's on this gold mine. The Dryad's still moving across the map as Nullis sends some infantry units back home to figure something out. The, the village is turning around, trying to shank down these Dryads, but the, these aren't weak units. 275 HP, 15 hack damage. They're going to kill off a bunch of units as he continues to push forward. The, the armory upgrades are non-existent for Nullis, but he does have himself heavy infantry, which is a really, really big thing to help keep uh to keep his army alive and keep him winning fights here as i mean the gold mine over here is expired 
And maybe another Fort Palace is coming up for Yoshi. He's starting to expand across the map, grabbing gold mines, being in a nice position here. Now let's add 100 population here. At any point, does he have his, does he have like winter harvester? He does have winter harvest, which is great. No irrigation just yet, but his food income is going to be skyrocketing at this point, right? So all he needs is gold, like a solid gold income. So Yoshi needs to continue getting these raids in and harassing the uh, the nullest gold income to keep himself in a good position. As the Dryads harassing over here, we do see this Destroyer is out. Like I said, this one, I mean, he's got how much? He's got 30% hack armor, which is kind of nothing. I mean, you compare it, I mean, the Ark is obviously only 15%, but they're, they're getting absolutely toasted by this infantry army that Nullus has made. Potentially Cairo Ballister, now this might sound crazy, but potentially Cairo Ballister at this point wouldn't be a bad unit choice to be making at this point, though. I mean, they're a bit of a funky unit to use, and they cost a lot of population, so maybe I'm a bit crazy on that one, but maybe an Atlantean main can tell me exactly what you would make in this position. As the throw and accident pushing through, Palace is going to get some good damage done here. So, at the very least, Yoshi is getting damage done on the army while also hitting raids on these villages. He has missed this position now, though, as Yoshi, he is sneaking this town center. Can he get it or not is the big question. Will Nullis notice? Because there's no... He notices. He notices immediately. This is this is tournament season. No players are nonchalantly not looking at the minimap in these situations, especially against Yoshi, who's just like continuously raiding in this game as both citizens will fall to these Ulf uh, Sark, heavy Ulf Sark. We do see the Contarius coming through. There's a world where potentially Yoshi can kind of win this fight, but he's not microing it at all. So we see the um, Contarius coming through. Ulf Sark will clean that one up. Over here, units still trying to push through here. His army is still popping out for Yoshi to defend. Which is, as this is what makes Yoshi so good. Look at that pull. Most players here end up getting distracted and losing their units just to villages. But what Yoshi does so well, and this is something to work on in your own gameplay, is keeping a good eye on your raiding party so that such that when your opponent starts harassing, you just pull the units away. And then you call it a day, and then your opponent chases you into the middle of the map, and then you get more damage done than if you would have just um, just left your unit shanking for that uh, for that time. Really, really nice play from Yoshi. As yet again, look at this. Yoshi's continuing to distract with these units. Copper Mail coming through for Yoshi as well as the Citizen getting pulled back. Ulf Sark raids coming in onto Yoshi's villages now as Yoshi might make another attempt to grab this town center yet again. But at this point, he's so low on the population here as Nullis is swarming him in this game. But units still popping out. I, I would love to see like some upgrades or something coming through for, for Yoshi. I think, does he have medium? He doesn't even have medium infantry. And obviously infantry, not, you don't really want to build them, but you kind of have to in a way because you need to be able to deal with those Huskarl and there's not a great unit to kill those Huskarl with for Atlantean because they've only got the... I mean, maybe Fanatics obviously are a really, really good unit to use against the Huskarl, but you don't have those until the Mythic Age. As the citizens pulling away here, we do see the Contarius chasing these down. Obviously, maybe a Contarius here against the Heavy Huskarl. Not the worst unit choice, 28%. Hack arm, 148 HP, 11 damage. A little bit more than the Huskarl there in terms of raw stats. So it works out nicely, uh, as well as the citizen going to be getting pulled off of the gold mine here with those Arcus pushing forward here to get some harassment. Uh, but, I mean, Yoshi's still got a gold mine up here. He's got this one secured with a palace. But Yoshi, he's back up to full population. Nullis is also at full population. The raids are still coming in. Nullis is mostly just on this position. And one thing that Nullis probably should have done and probably still needs to do is just get a, get a hill fort set up over here. Just get a hill fort set up over here, and then once it's up, move the villages over there. But instead, he's going for a town center. This town center here obviously wants that to give him an advantage, but in the end, I think he's going to be finding himself continuously harassed in this game. Uh, as Yoshi's villages, they're completely safe here. He's got only 21 of them, but they're completely safe, apart from the villages in this town center, obviously, as the uh, town center really doesn't do all that much damage. Uh, but two citizens idled here. Not that big of a deal compared to what... Uh, compared to the damage which Yoshi is inflicting onto Nullis here. This fortified town center is now coming through for Yoshi. He's still, he's pushing forward. He's got all of the upgrades in uh, with the hack armor in through uh, as well. He doesn't have, 
himself any line upgrades, but it doesn't matter. Armory upgrades, if you're building like a significant variation in unit type, so if you're building cavalry, infantry, and archers, it's kind of better to just get yourself the first line of upgrades. Copper weapons, copper mail, copper shields, and then get your line upgrades. It might sound a little bit counterintuitive because normally the absolute opposite is the case, but generally you're only building, say, a handful of units at a time. So, uh, not a handful, a handful of type of units. Like right now, Nullis has got infantry and, and cavalry, but he doesn't really need that many cavalry. He can mostly just get away with the infantry here. So he doesn't need to, um, so he doesn't need to get a variety of line upgrades. Nonetheless, as the villagers get pushed off over here, still putting pressure onto this town center. It might be going down here as the villagers pop out. Fortified town center's in. Mason's coming through as well. Citizen does end up coming down. One very low HP citizen here as well as uh, as the town center and some dire straits here. But Yoshi's still putting pressure up over here. Looks like he does have to retreat back. Not able to win that fight. Town center over here. I mean, can he defend this one? 140 population here as more units are getting trained up. Lots of idle uh, military on this position as Yoshi finally attempting to build some Cairo Ballister out to deal with his infantry army. Will it work is the big question. You have to remember that Odin here has also got Lone Wanderer Ulfsark, which while the Cairo Ballister technically counter the Ulfsark, in, practical, in practicality, they actually don't. They actually lose to Ulfsark because the Ulfsark at 5.x speed, whatever it is, over 5.00 speed, dodge those projectiles of the Cairo Ballister, which means... By the time he gets onto the Carabalus, they just die. The Carabalus to die before the Old Sark die, which is a weird thing to say, but it's how it works. We do see another Gaia Forest getting thrown up. Town Center does end up living after all that harassment is in. The raids still coming in onto Nullis' villages here. He is still pounding those villages. And if, for those who are out there, they could have raided more. I, I don't think that Yoshi could have raided more in this game. He is going full send on the raids in this one and Nullis is just like full I don't care about my villages also converting an old sark here might seem like a good option but in actuality you just killed your own villager um so he's more than happy to have that happen plus more units coming in here to take out more villagers as the army getting dragged in under the palace while Nullis is distracted with everything in here. The Frost Giant's still a difficult unit here to deal with. Uh, Yoshi can push forward and start thinking about getting a potential a palace up over here to grab this location as well. Nullis' village is pushing up to 73. While a lot of harassment is coming in onto Nullis' villages, he's still getting more and more economy going in this game as Nullis pulling away here. And he's losing so many units underneath the palace here. He's running out of resources. In all honesty, the villagers on this gold mine, still no defenses there. This is the thing that is making me the most worried for Nullis in this game. Is just suddenly he is going to start really, really hurting in terms of gold. And he's not going to be able to just say, no worries, I've, I've held because i got buildings there. Because Yoshi can just keep sending units onto it. Another thing going on here is Yoshi has started his own trade route. Uh, there's no market up in this top corner. I'm sure that's the best place to put it, but he does get it in over here. He's just starting the uh, the Llama Caravans while not quite preparing it anywhere else. But the army is now pushing forward for Yoshi. Walls finally starting to come up here for Nullis, but it's too little too late. Yoshi is stabilized in this game. While Nullis' economy is incredibly strong, he's taken so many losses to his villages that his just income has not been there. So it doesn't matter that he's got these villagers if they're just sitting idle here throughout the entirety of this game. As the army pulls back and now Nullis looking to put some harassment in here. Meanwhile, another raid onto the gold over here. Contarius checking out this gold mine as well. Not seeing anything there. Checking out this gold mine over here. Yoshi is going to be on every one of Nullis' gold mines in this game. Heroed, a heroized arc is now coming through as well for Yoshi. As he pushes through, going to start taking out those frost giants on the back. As Yoshi slowly starts pushing in this gold mine. 1,400, uh, 14, 4,000. I'm saying 40, 100, 4,000 gold remaining in this gold mine. So completely fine here if Nullis can hold. But the question is, can he? Heavy arc is in. Cairo Ballister in, getting crazy amounts of damage done to these infantry units. Though, I mean, to the hustle.
they have bonus damage versus Huskal. They do get an extra uh, nearly 200%, 150% bonus damage against Huskal over everything else, which does actually end up mattering. But I think it's still a tough unit to take out with those Cairo Ballista. Thank you for the 11 months there, Solo. Appreciate you, my friend. Thank you for the consistent support. It means a lot. As now Yoshi here try and break in onto this position, take out those villages and everything else. As over here, Town Center are attempting to come up. We do see a mana getting thrown up here, but there's plenty of units in. This mana getting put up means the villagers are going to be able to jump in and out of it, keep themselves nice and alive here. Citizen stays alive with seven HP there to boot. Fortified Town Center is coming through. Vanellus, they're still in the back of Yoshi's mind. Consistently, there should be in the back of Yoshi's mind here that Ragnarok is coming. Ragnarok is coming. The drums are sounding. Ragnarok is coming. So what can he do to stop it? Well, obviously a gold cut is always going to be a great idea. And Yoshi is continuing to put this pressure on in order to make that happen. Town Center over here trying to go up. It's nearly up to full HP. He's going to be at three Town Centers here in this game. As the heavy elves start getting pushed back. Villagers pulling away from this wood line over here. As the citizen going to be able to finish up that settlement. Pulling back over onto this location here. The Frost Giants not able to quite push through there and get the uh, get anything really done here yoshi does have this problem here the problem is that this gold mine is going to run out at some point does he have the market up in the corner still no market in the corner he's just going between the hometown center and that that kind of close market 22 gold there he can push up to this town center if he wants now but it's probably not the best of ideas Plus, I mean, the other thing is that with this town center comes this gold mine here, this gold mine over here, this gold mine over here. Plenty of uh, places there for him to be kind of going to enjoy there. But Nullis here, full population, still putting pressure on here. I don't know if he even needs to do this. Remember, like, I don't see how Yoshi struggling in the heroic age here to win these fights is going to win against a Ragnarok pushing through, but the throw and axe will do manage to snipe a citizen there. Lots of low HP citizens on this front. The citizens spread out all across the map now as these units pushing in to hit this gold mine yet again. Nullas is still low on the gold. He's only got how many villages on here? 18 plus 4, 22 villages total on the gold mine here. He's still defending nicely though as the army here distracting a little bit. It's those uh, those Thrum Frost Giants, they're still a difficult unit to kill. The the best way to kill off a Frost Giant as Gaia is to be making Stymphalian Birds. But the problem with Stymphalian Birds is the Heavy Throw and Axemen kill them off so incredibly fast. So there's this really difficult game of like kind of cat and mouse as, as it is of like, oh, I'm killing your Frost Giant. And now you're like, oh, I'm killing your Stymphalian Birds. And you have to kind of pull back and micro and all the good stuff that happens in those situations as the Contarius now going after Ox Caravans, Yoshi Micro on this hard trying to kind of, there's no scoot and shoot micro, so to speak, or orb walking as it's also called in the, uh, in the world of MOBAs, but you can still like get the units into a better position to ensure they all attack instead of bumping into each other with that sort of micro as Yoshi is continuing to try and pick off these Ox Caravans causing lots and lots of problems for Nullis. Look at Nullis' economy. Look at the gold and wood sell, though. You cannot sell gold or wood in this game. It's only worth 18 at this point for 100, as Balder has been clicked up. Yoshi, his demise is coming. Ragnarok is upon us. Can Yoshi defend or not is the big question. How do you defend an 85 villager? Ragnarok, at this point, is the big question. Now, Nullis has just spent... 2,000 resources, of which Yoshi has not spent on going to the Mythic Age. So there's a big timing here for pain pressure to come in. But how many palaces are up? These gold mines down the bottom, they're going to be spotted. I mean, maybe this one, maybe Yoshi gets away with that gold mine there. But then he still has to kill off 85 plus Ragnarok heroes in this game. As the army still... Pushing in onto this position, the Throne Axemen retreating away, villagers pulling away from this spot. 30, 45 seconds remaining on the next stage. Though, the Ox Caravans are getting killed. This is big 
This is big. You have to pick off these ox caravans. This is a really, really smart move from Yoshi. He knows what's coming, and he goes, okay, if I pick off the ox caravans, at least I slow down any sort of fire giant follow-up. So if I do survive, we're all good. We don't have to um, worry about the impossible as the villagers pushing over onto this gold mine can start mining this before they want to click that balder, click that Ragnarok, excuse me, as the dryad's coming through, the ox caravan still waddling around here to this market, moving back and forth from the hometown center. Not going to be the best, but will be a little bit safer there, so better to be safe than sorry. But the Arcus moving forward, 18 Arcus coming in here. They're about to be very, very disappointed because there's about to be a ton of Ragnarok heroes waiting. But before that happens, got to kill off those ox caravans. Some very high value ox caravans, so you're going to be dumping in that gold. Atlas has been clicked up for Yoshi, getting Mythic Age is important here ladies and gentlemen because you get access to the fanatic which is incredibly important as we do see the rag heroes plus the ox carts pushing forward here the target down this town center already half hp here the guy bonus is slow Ford town center also getting taken down no architects here just yet for Yoshi as the Arcus here trying to get they managed to basically pick up every one of those ox caravans but one they have done their job but losing them all on the front is that going to be uh is that going to be enough there as the uh the destroyers and automatons over here trying to pick off that fire giant but the town center over here will end up falling the market over here will end up falling the ford town center over here will end up falling the citizens over here have been pushed off the gold mine but yoshi with one citizen up here plus a citizen over here has successfully snuck a gold mine Nellis might send a unit over there to check at some point but there's also still this gold mine over here remaining plus atlas is on the way which will mean that a lot of Nullis' units will fall here. Now, Atlas doesn't pick off any real heroes of Ragnarok. It, it maybe does like half HP to a couple, to, to half of them or something, but doesn't really get a whole bunch of damage done to them. But it will pick off all of those infantry units on the back. So that's going to be a big, big way to hold there as Yoshi valiantly staying in this game here. Watchtower's coming through at this point for uh, Nullis as the military barracks coming down as well. I mean, you can't buy any gold here for Yoshi. It's not worth uh, anything. Uh, at the moment so it's a pretty sad thing but he does get a market up in the corner there's the atlas in which means fanatics can be built here where do you click the um where do you click the implode though after all is said and done arguably you want to click it on your opponent's army but i mean there's just a palace here so it does damage to yourself i believe is that true um, let me just quickly check there uh, surrounding building so there's no i think there's no friendly i think their friendly fire doesn't exist for that thing so you're going to be taking your own own damage there as well as the army here still pushing through but look at now this population has dropped relatively considerably here i can't remember exactly what it was maybe like 300 or something there so it's dropped quite a bit so far as Yoshi pulling back. He's at 79 population. The hometown center still very much alive as in the main base, fanatics, heavy fanatics at that, starting to pop out of these pal uh, uh, of these palaces. Exactly the unit he needs to make there, but it looks like the citizens have all been cleaned up. Yoshi with no gold miners left, but he still has these llama caravans playing a vital role in this game. As the, uh, as the palace does end up falling. I mean, at this point, you just click implode. Yes, there's the implode. So, gold power coming in. How many of these units is he going to be able to suck in here, though? As they do start retreating away. But generally speaking, you don't quite get out of here with all of them. And so a handful do manage to escape. And a lot are going to be falling over here as well. They should get pulled in, right? There we go. So, they're all, the fire giant also going down is going to be huge there. As... Employed does come in and the damage coming in through that building there. It's significant to say the very least. Uh, population now 82 to 156. So little by little, little by little, this is slowly getting into a position where Yoshi can kind of hold. There's also no fire giant here, which makes these defenses much, much easier. And Nullis has got no resources. He does have a ton of farms. He does have villages popping out already. So he's slowly getting food. He can make ox caravans he can make villages out of all of these town centers here he's making this town center up as well for himself to spam the villages so it's a it's a difficult position to be sure but we'll see if yoshi can figure out a way to survive here obviously still while it's not efficient to do so selling food and wood you can still do that it's better than not 
having any gold and just not being able to make any units here. Uh, as we'll see what Yoshi's going to attempt uh, and be able to do here as the citizen over here trying to make a break for it, but looks like Nullis is not going to be allowing it. There is a fire giant over here. There is, I believe, an Argus still alive. The question is, can Yoshi be sneaky enough with that Argus? Can he be sneaky enough? Now, there is a way in which you can kind of speed walk the Argus into the fight. And what I mean by that is you can grab a unit that's in the fight and the Argus comes swooping in to kind of, and you kind of join them up in a, in a pair and, and move them together at a different angle and you can speed that, um, that Argus up of way above 4.1 speed to get onto the Fire Giant. It does take some setting up to make it happen, but it's definitely possible. But as this game is continuing along, Yoshi down. He's, he needs some manners set up. He's going to be grabbing a town center back over here. Looks like the market going to sneak up in that corner there. How many llama caravans does he have? He's got two llama caravans. 35 gold in this one. The other llama caravan, not exactly sure where it is. As the army popping out over here, going to take down this watchtower. Taking out a couple of villages here is going to be really, really key. And I mean, at this moment, he, Nullis kind of has to know... He doesn't necessarily need to finish Yoshi off, but Yoshi still got 15 citizen. Now, while he doesn't have gold income, he's still got 15 citizen, and that's still a problem. And this is something here that's going to be gigantic for Yoshi. If you can just get that trade route started again, he's just going to be so, so big. As the army pushing around here, he does spot that watchtower over here, deciding to turn around and take this fight. At least going to get a little bit of damage done onto those heroes of Ragnarok. The weakness of those fanatics are 4.3 speed. Not a whole lot compared to the hero of Ragnarok, 4.8 speed. And Yoshi throwing away a lot of units there, unfortunately, as he's sending out the fanatics trying to get damage done. Temple going down on the middle of the map as well. As Yoshi, what, what can he do? He's, I mean, he wants to hit the gold over here, I guess, and continue to get damage done to Nullis. Nullis has still got a thousand, not a thousand, a hundred favor in the bank, which means Fire Giant are plenty here as the Fanatics sneak in through here. But those heroes of Ragnarok are in position, and Nullis spots that, going to be taking that one out as the uh, mana coming through. And in the end, the defensive base of Yoshi, those, those wall segments here, I mean. Obviously, a fire giant, he could have taken these towers down and would have allowed uh, Nullis into Yoshi's base, but it hasn't quite worked out that that's a, a very simple way to push through. As the Fanatic's still kind of trading here a little bit. Yoshi's got five Llama Caravans in at the moment, still pumping more and more out. What's his gold rate at this point? He's get 29 gold a trip. As Unfortunately for Nullis, he's not quite aware of this. This is a very, very unique position to be in. Like... You've got full map control. You've got... I mean, we see Yoshi tapping out here, unfortunately. You've got full map control, but... You have to also be continuously controlling the corners of the map to stop the trade route. But Nullis here, in the end, does find the dub as Yoshi valiantly fighting in this one, but just not able to find the win here against Nullis as his Odin proves too strong. Ragnarok, yet again, an incredibly strong asset for the Norse, uh, for the Norse war machine. I don't know what word I wanted to use there, but GG, well played. I, I mean, Yoshi was so active in this game. He played it so well, yeah. You hate to see it, guy players. I mean, there is, the, on the one hand, Yoshi was really, really active with the army, but on the other hand, he's also playing Atlantean, so having to defend less stuff makes it easier to do those kind of raids. You can't really do that stuff while you're playing, say, I don't know, like Egyptian, for example, because there's just so many more things that you can get attacked. So starting to send like random units out across the map over here and over here, you're just going to lose so many villages. So you can do it a lot better with the Atlanteans. And he did show that here in this game in a big, big way. If you guys enjoyed this one, please consider the follow on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTube, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next game.